Hello, I just wanted to give a quick video tutorial on how uh, I farmed the good riddance trophy, which is for killing 53,600 ridden. Ridden are the normal infected, not the special infected. Uh, I tried two ways of doing this, both of which I was offline, as you do not need to be online to farm these trophies or for trophies to pop anymore. Uh, the first was an AFK method where you play Act 3, a chapter called T5. You use barbed wire quick slot upgrade and place barbed wire along the staircase and you can just sit AFK. I left my PlayStation running doing this method and I went to bed. I want to say in about two hours I must have died and accumulated around 900 to 1000 kills. It takes a while but it's like a guaranteed sure way of not having to touch your controller. You can just leave it and go. Uh, this method, however, that I'm showing in the video, I found was much faster, but you can't really sit AFK as you need to deal with the special infected for it. And there used to be a glitch where you could jump over the fence at the very start of this chapter, um, but they don't do that anymore. This chapter is called A Road to Hell. I believe it's also in Act 3. And what you want to do is basically load up a melee build. I'll put the melee build uh, on the side here so you can copy what I've done. It basically gives you infinite stamina so you can just hit anything. You don't need to worry about ammo. Um, you want to start the game and just run all the way through straight to the very end where the safe room is. When you reach the safe room, you want to open the safe room door. Go inside it so the bots follow you. So just sort of just spam waypoint at the end. Then quickly come back out and shut the safe room door so they're locked in. That way they can't kill any of the uh, ridden for you. And then you just want to sit down and kill the ridden, just go ham with your weapon, as you can see in the video. Um, I Doing this method, in about 10 minutes, I had around 1,500 kills. So it is much faster than the AFK method. You just need to be a little bit more cognitive uh, to be able to do it. But it's for sure the fastest way of doing it. Uh, and that's about it. Uh, by the end of doing the Nightmare No Hope difficulty on solo, I had around 23,000 kills, so I had a lot of grinding left to do. And I didn't really want to run through all the missions again, because if you run through an act, you can average around 1,500 to 2,000 kills per act, but it would take you about 40 to 50 minutes, I'd say. Um, I saw a lot of good riddance guides that were outdated or slow, uh, so I just wanted to make a quick guide. But now, updated in 2023, um... Just basically show you the fastest way around getting it. I have other guides that I am making now, so you can stay tuned for those, especially if you have a VR. I can also make guides on the best Nightmare solo builds that I found work for me, because I'd done the entirety of Act 1 to 4 solo on Nightmare. Uh, or I can tell you the build that I use for Act 5 solo, no hope, uh, to add tips on that, because I've also done the entirety of Act 5. Act 6, I'd, I'd done as a team, because my build just didn't work for it. Um, but yeah, apart from that, thank you very much for watching the guide. I really hope this helps. You can come catch me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash sir underscore Harris, where I stream almost daily. And if you're having troubles with this trophy or you don't want to do it yourself, you can always visit my website or email me in the email address below so we can arrange a price for me to help you out. Uh, again, thank you very much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one. So take care.